Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Huntsville Hospital, Redstone Federal Credit Union, Fellowship of Faith Church, and X-Golf. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Mayner. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Bulldogs pulled off a sweet one down in Mobile, the Gulf Coast Challenge Classic, winning 63-20 to over the Central State Marauders. Congratulations, coach. My voice is hoarse because y'all wore me out last night. Thank you, Ted. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. You know, uh, guys play well. Uh, we still got some stuff we got to work on, uh, all three phases. Uh, but we got the W and the guys play well. On the good side, coach, you spread the ball around to lots of student athletes making good catches, lots of good plays on offense. On defense, we saw some names that we did not see earlier in the season, but they played well. Special teams might be still giving you a problem. Well, yeah, we, uh, we knew if we played the way we were supposed to play that uh, we can get a lead and get some other guys some playing time. And we wanted the rest of the starters and get the backups some quality time and give them some reps on film and taping and evaluate with these guys and let those guys continue to get better also. Uh, and then with special teams, uh, we had a, a punt that was tipped, you know, um, and uh, we gave up a return around midfield. So we got a little work to do still. Like I, I said uh, last night, that, uh, you know, we played a good game, but we still got a lot of work to do. You know, um, we're only five games in, and uh, we still got seven more, so we, we, we'll get better. Managing the road work coach, going there, getting the student athletes focused on the ball game ahead. The results were good. Now you come back home, but you'll have two straight weeks of lots of hoopla going on around the football game. Yeah, yeah, we do. You know, I told the guys last night, you know, we're going to break this tape down today, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, learn from it <coughs> and then move on to uh, Jackson. I mean, uh, Texas, Texas Southern. Southern. And, uh, you know, it's homecoming. So it's a lot of hoopla going around, uh, step shows and, and uh, comedy shows. I told these guys. That's for everybody else. That's for the alumni. That's for you, Ted. That's for Mike. Uh, and they got the rest of their life to go to step shows and homecomings, you know. But this might be the last chance to play in a homecoming football game. So we need to get focused on what we got to do. And we will take a look at the first half highlights when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama under the leadership of Dr. Owendo Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. 
under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Bulldogs win a big one last night. Lots of travel involved, coach. You've lost a couple of hours due to the long travel in your week. What made you decide how to adjust? Well, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it's football season. It's a long season, work long hours. Um, you know, we always tell the guys, what are you going to do different? You got to sacrifice, you know. And that's what life is about, sacrificing. And so we understand that uh, we got a, a, a game this week and we didn't get back to late. But you got to sacrifice. That's what champions do. That's what winners do. That's what dads do. That's what fathers do. They sacrifice. And uh, that's no different from what we got to do. And of course, Coach, going down to the Gulf Coast Challenge Classic, second year in a row, Bulldogs were one and one this Classic, but it was our home game. Did it have any bearing on the ball game at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, you know, of course it was our home game and you know, we had to travel. Uh, but uh, we, we'll see. We don't know if they're gonna have, we're going to have it again or not. We'll see. Um, or we're going to bring our like, home game back at home. So, uh, but it was great, um, you know, why it lasted. If, if that was the last one, uh, we were one and one in, in the Gulf Coast Challenge. So uh, we, was, we was very uh, satisfied to, to get a, a big win last night. And, of course, lots of maroon and white in the stands on the home side of the field. Also in the parking lot, we'd like to thank the Mobile Alumni Chapter of the Alabama A&M University Alumni Groups for their fine hospitality, especially after the game, as we look at the opening kickoff for the ball yeah, game. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for their support. And here we go, um, inside run here uh, with Bentley uh, after an opening penalty. So we got that five yards back, and then we come back and run the outside zone with uh, A.B. here. He turns the corner and uh, got a real good run, 33 yards, I believe, and got us going here. That's number 11, Alvin Bryant. Yes, sir. And then uh, a quill check did play right here uh, to um, Bentley. Yeah, to the option to the right. And so that's a great play by uh, a quill glass playing the position of quarterback, mm -hmm. getting his in and out of bad plays and uh, taking what the defense give you. And, of course, Jordan Bentley, one of his three touchdowns on the day. Big game for him. He just keeps rolling. Yeah, Bentley is Bentley. You know, he's, he's having a great season. Uh, one of the things we wanted, we knew we had to do is have, keep him healthy all year, and he's been healthy so far. He's having a great season. And they tried a little reverse there on the opening kickoff, and uh, we were sound and, and uh, stopped it at the 30-yard line. A little football one-on-one, -on -one, Coach, when you talk about people being in their lanes or their fits, rather, what are you talking about? Uh, we'll see, maybe, I don't know if we'll see it, but later they gash us on one return because a guy got pushed out of his lane and didn't stay in his lane. And so once you do that, you, you create a big hole you can drive a car through. So it's very important to stay in your lanes and get the right fits. And as we watch Bentley be Bentley again, uh, another 10-yard rush right up the middle. And of and course. Now Gary comes in to, to uh, breed Bentley, and, and he gets him 12 yards. And then we come back and throw it out here in the flats. And I think we might have got a hole in the yes, car. That, we did. That, I don't know how about that call, but it is what it is. And then a quill on the RPO right here, threads one into our, our, our. I know it was hard for us to see the numbers on the Central State jerseys, Coach, not being that far away from the field, it would look like in the, st in the stands. But it's a little bit the angles are different. I don't know how you guys are able to see across the field, especially when the sun set. Yeah, you know, you don't, you. you if, unless you got a great player that you know you got to match up to, mm -hmm. the numbers really are not that important. Uh, besides subbing, like uh, you know, for the defensive coordinator, he wants to know when the tight ends in the game, the fullbacks in the game, for pers for personnel reasons, we we want to know numbers uh, because you know the number of the tight end, the fullbacks, the the wide receivers. So that's why numbers are important for we're trying to get the right call to match up with the the formation they're gonna have in the game. Nice the play right here, coach. Yeah, a little middle screen there. Um, got us about 12, 13 yards, keeping them honest. Then we come back with outside zone. Got a good block there by the receivers and a good cut by Gary Kors. Got his helmet knocked off, but he's a tough guy. <laughs> Looked like it was pulled off. I thought we were gonna going to get a penalty on that play. Yeah, we got some uh, pressure right there. Got some penetration. Here's a little bootleg. Got it out. We had a chance to take the 
seven route there for a deep one, but the quill just checked it down, which is okay, move the chains. And there's another pass to Xavier Moore, breaks the tackle there, and if he breaks that last one, he scored. But uh, it still was a great play, great throw. And then uh, Bentley, again, they're just dragging him, man. He's something else. And there was another little bootleg here, and throw it to Howard for the touchdown. So Quill's playing well. Um, if he had a little bit more speed, that he probably could have ran that one in. You see that if he take off, but then that guy came. Actually, that guy that came made how? I mean, uh, uh, other tight end. Oh, Johnson. Johnson wide open, but he still he still threw it to uh, Howard. If people are watching the replays, you'll see several people open almost on every play, Coach. Akil does have his choice of receivers, as we see in the stats with all the way different people he spread the ball around to. Oh, yeah, we're not just looking to throw the ball to one guy. You know, we call the play, and we take what the defense gives you. Right here, it's another deep one, and Xavier Moore made it. Another great play, the ball's underthrown just a little bit, and so I talked to Akil about that, uh, you know, getting those balls on out there, and we can catch those balls in stride and score. And uh, it's a little pump fake out there on the quick screen, and Send one down the hash and one down the sideline, and he got to make the read, and he made the right read, and got another touchdown to Abraham there. Bulldogs were up 28-7. to Central State had a drive and scored. We thought they were trying to get a little momentum, Coach, but this drive turned it back your way. Well, it came from a muff punt again. You know, um, Gary Kors muffed the punt, and they got the ball on the three-yard line, so we kind of gave him seven points right there. A coach, when a student athlete, as you mentioned before, they get something in their mind, it's hard to get it out. But when you get it in, they're good. When someone makes a mistake in the game, how do you get them to get over that? Well, normally, you know, you try to go right back to those guys, a receiver. You know, you want to come back to them the next play and show them that you still got confidence in them and get them a catch and get his confidence back. Uh, and Gary, I actually was trying to get him out. But we let him stay in the... Uh, because of the score of the game, we let him stay, you know, and uh, we was up three touchdowns and it, and it almost cost us, well, it cost us a touchdown. So if that game would have been tighter, he definitely wouldn't have been back there. When do you have a conversation with your coaching staff, Coach, about emptying the bench, if you will? Oh, I, I did at halftime. I told them the offense, it started to go back out one series. We got to quill one more series there in the second half and get him out of the game, and the game is over with. We, we're trying to win the swag and get to the celebration bowl so we're looking down the road. You know, once this game is over, we want to get those guys out. We want to get nobody hurt in the game that's over. Of course, and here's another scoring drive. Great touch on this one. Yeah, uh, they played as man. You know, they kind of forced us to throw the ball. You know, Bentley, of course, we've been rushing the ball for a lot of yards the last two games. And, you know, they probably said, you know, we're going to stop the run and force them to throw the ball. And so that's what we did. It's, it's not rocket science. We're going to take what the defense gives us, man. If you're going to stack the box, we're going to throw the ball. You know, if you gives opportunity to run the ball, we're going to run the ball. You know, a lot of coaches try to outsmart themselves. Mm. Yeah. I'm not Einstein. I'm Maynard. <laughs> Bulldogs leading 42-14 to 14 at the end of the first half. We'll take a look at the second half highlights and hear more from Coach Maynard right here on the Alabama a and Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 98.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. Give it all to me. I give my all to you. 
89.9 FM WJAB. For the campus of Alabama A&M University. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Welcome back to the Alabama A&M Football Review. The Bulldogs are leading 42-14 to at the half. Coach, what's on your mind? Uh, continue to do what we're doing. You know, we, like we, we've been preaching all year uh, to get your foot on their throat, twist, and, and make all the blood come out. You know, kill a hand with a hand grenade. You know, we, we, we want to finish the game. We want to play a 60-minute game. And uh, told the starters to probably get them one or two more series for those guys to go out and stop them and get scores. Then we get the backups in and get those guys some quality reps and uh, let everybody play and get to evaluate everybody in a game like that. And uh, that's what we was able to do. What goes into a quality game rep, Coach? Uh, just on film. It's always different in the game. You know, you got fans, you got referees, you got a different opponent. And so you want to see reps against in, in game situations. Nothing to replace a game situation. You can do all the scrimmages you want, all the 11 on 11 you want. But it's nothing like playing an actual game. And, of course, you get to review that with your coaching staff. Again, Bulldogs got back early this morning. Your coaches are reviewing the film. You're going to meet with your team coach and then try to get ready to keep them focused during a week of homecoming activities. Of course, that's the key. You know, um, you know I told you guys, they, they can't go to anything. You know, um, homecoming is for the, for the fans, the students, the alumni, uh, your family members. You know, we got to be focused because at the end of the week, they come into the football game to see us win a football game. And so we have to be prepared for that. So we have to prepare just like it's a regular week. Even though it's not, it is our next football game. And that's what we got to prepare for, to go 1-0 and this week. Central State's head coach Cedric Pearl was our offensive coordinator in 2006 when we won the SWAC championship. You know each other well. It seems there's no one you don't know, Coach. Ragsdale said hello as well. When you think about an opponent on the other side of the field and the score gets lopsided, what are your thoughts about a running clock? Well, I don't mind a running clock. You know, if the other coach wanted to run a clock. And, uh, you know, like I said, once the game get out of hand, I want to get my starters out anyway. I don't want nobody to get nobody hurt in the game like that. And the, the highlights are back. Uh, second half here, just like I said, the first possession, well, we still got our starters in. Um, so Bentley is still in there. Oquil Glass is still in there. And uh, what we want to do is put together a good drive here. And here's a little screen play and good play by Gary Kors. Uh, got us about eight yards and manageable situation here. And we'll give it to Bentley on fourth down, I believe, run power. And uh, he got about 10, 12 yards there. Get us to a 12 yard line here and uh, give it to Bentley again. And uh, he's down to the three yard line, another first down. Good formation here, coach. I thought you were going to throw it and then Bentley just skips into the end zone. Yeah, well, you know, Bentley did most of the work on that drive and uh, and uh, so we want to get him one more and get him out the game. And uh, he, he deserves it, you know. And uh, he, I mean, he got us all the way down there. It would be a shame to let somebody else get a touchdown. So uh, we called his number one more time. In classic games, there's always an extended halftime. This year we had three bands performing at halftime. Coach, coming out late and having to wait, does that interrupt your preparing time to get ready for the second half? Well, they told me right before halftime it was extended 25 minutes. Wow. I wish they could have told me that before. But anyway, um, it's, you know, it's understandable. It's a classic. And a lot of people, here's the interception right here. Uh, you know, defense played well. I think we had two, two interceptions. Two and, interceptions. Uh, and we could have had three or four. And now we got our backup quarterback, TJ in, uh, Tyrone Bell, and he throws a touchdown pass to Xavier Moore. And uh, this is due, this will be the end of the night for Xavier Moore, who had a big night, over 200 yards receiving and uh, two touchdowns. Um, but, you know, one of the things you want to do, you know, this is not running up the score. This is second possession of the third quarter. 
uh, and I got my backup quarterback in for the first time, mm -hmm. uh, he can't get better just handing the ball off. It's a game situation. What I talked about earlier, there's nothing like playing in the game. And so when the backup come in, my backup quarterback come in, I'm going to still throw the ball here, go right here to you. This is coach getting rolled on the sideline. <laughs> but you said you just took it easy and just wanted to sell some tickets. Oh, yeah, I just put on a little show right there, little, little, showing a little of my acting skills, you know. Uh, but, yeah, you know, when I bring my backup quarterback in in third quarter and it's, it's, the game is kind of getting out of hand, we're going to still throw the ball because uh, – the defense linemen, the backup defense linemen are in, and they're playing their regular game. The offensive linemen are playing their regular game. And uh, so the quarterback has to play his regular game. You know, we have to be able to throw. We have to see if he can throw the ball in the game, in the game situation. We can't just hand the ball off and, and don't need to put him in there. So it's, it's not running up the score in no situation. It's trying to see what he, how he's going to react in a game situation throwing the football. Central State was very competitive, Coach. It actually got a little chippy in the fourth quarter. What are your thoughts about that? It always does, uh, Ted. When the game starts to get out of hand, you know, the other team get a little frustrated and uh, start pushing a little bit and, and get some late penalties. And here's another pick, pick six actually by Josh, man. He was motoring down that sideline. And, uh, Fast as a hiccup. And we had, it's a flag on the play and, the, and came back, you know. Uh, so I got to watch that tape and see. Here's a good punt here by Spencer. I think Spencer only had three punts last night, Coach. That's good. That's good. I mean, and here's another pick Ooh. six. This one walked right into the passing lane. This pick six does count. A couple of notes, folks. Coach Maynard's acting skills come from being Jamie Foxx's backup or stunt double in any given Sunday. Still looking at that movie, and I can't find you. But also, Coach, we had nine student athletes that are from the Mobile area. What's it like to be able to play in front of your home crowd where you grew up? It's great, you know, and uh, that's one another reason why we brought the game back to Mobile. We, we've been doing a good job of getting recruits out of Mobile. And then we got the recruits here. And so for those guys to go back and play at home in front of their high school coaches and their family and their friends, uh, just a great opportunity. And of course, coach, recruiting occurs every day of the week. Final score of the Bulldogs, 63, Central State, 20. We thought that the Division I record for the Bulldogs in scoring might be 66 points. Michael Burns remembers a game where the Bulldogs scored 88, but that we were Division II then. Well, I guess you're correct, man. Both of you were correct, right? I took a guess, Coach 66, Mike's 66, memory is better than mine. 66 <laughs> for, for D1 and 88 for D2? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I mean, we could have got the record probably, but – you know, Coach Pearl's a friend of mine. He's coached here, and um, as head coaches, you know, you don't like to be on the opposite side of that. that Mountain taking either. out to the woodshed, and uh, so, you know, you try to run the ball, get your subs in there, and, uh, you know, try to take it easy on guys a little bit. Even we, though you got some coaches these days with the rankings and all that stuff, they run the score up on you. And we'll talk more with Coach Manor when we come back for the final segment here on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this. But our students build race cars from the ground up. Explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB-FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. And the home of Mellow Madness till midnight. You bring me joy. 
90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Thank you again for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. Homecoming on the Hill starts this week. Matter of fact, the first activity starts Sunday night. But, Coach, you've already told your student-athletes, leave all that alone, concentrating on school and football. Oh, yeah. Fo uh, football, 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 and going to class. Uh, we have to be prepared. we got to get ready for um, Texas Southern, who's a much-improved football team. Uh, very good at offense, scoring a lot of points. Uh, been giving up some points, so... Uh, we got to be able to slow down that offense, and then we got to be able to continue to score on offense. And uh, but we got to keep the guys focused. We can't be worried about the step shows and comedy shows and uh, everything else that's going on. You get a W Saturday, and then all that'll be good. And then that means Saturday evening, after the game kicks off at two o'clock p.m. on Saturday, that means the pregame show may be heard at 1:30 on 90.9 .9 FM WJAB. Of course, if you want to talk to Coach Maynard in person. Go on over to X Golf, 2500 Clinton Avenue in Huntsville. Bulldog Talk, 6 o'clock p.m. Monday nights. If you can outdrive, Coach, I'll buy your meal. Is that a good enough challenge? Yeah, that's a good challenge. And then, of course, when you come in, sign the roll, and then we have something for you at the end of the season. Coach, when you've got to build, building your team right now, 3-2 and two in the month of September, some of the internet predictions, if you will, might be right on target, but we know you have loftier goals. Well, I don't know what the internet predictions are. You know, my goals are go 1-0, uh, win the SWAC, win the uh, Celebration Bowl, and if not, win enough games where we can still be eligible to go to the playoffs. So I don't know what the internet people goals are, but uh, maybe they need to get a football team and then they can set some goals. <laughs> and of course, Coach, last word, you'll have it here. What do you need from the Bulldog faithful at a homecoming game? To do what they've been doing, show up and show out. Uh, the, the home, the crowd has been tremendous uh, the past three or four games, and uh, it was a sea of maroon and white last night. And uh, looking forward to seeing the same thing Saturday afternoon, and continue to cheer and support the guys. And we look forward to seeing you again next week, same time here on the Alabama and Football Review with Head Coach Connell Mayne. So long, everybody.